Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. I'm Cici. I'm from China. Uh, the topic is realize the ability of application orchestration in OpenStack with Cloudify. Uh, if your work focused on the business application or the path, you, uh, or you are the operation administrator, so you must hear about world orchestration. Yes, we all know some orchestra uh, container orchestration. For example, Google's Kubernetes or the DCOS Marathon. But today, we will talk about the application orchestration in OpenStack with, uh, with Cloudify. OK? OK, let's look at the uh, feature together. We all know the three layers, S, Pass, and SAS. And the Cloudify was designed as the tools for past applications. Cloudify target, target customer who launch pre-built application in cloud environments and uh, uh, want to operate their own service quickly without, uh, without dealing with uh, uh, and the, uh, the technical and opinions. So we can use Cloudify to operate the cloud native applications and the traditional um, uh, monol monolithic application and uh, the container applications. So uh, next, I will introduce Cloudify from four except. Uh, first, OpenStack native. Uh, the OpenStack can integrate with OpenStack component. For example, Nova, Neutron, Sina, Crystal, Head, and more. And uh, so, uh, Cloudify can run as a service of uh, OpenStack. Second, Stand and Tosca. Uh, Cloudify DSL is based on the Tosca. D DSL is domain specific and language. Tosca is a topology and orchestration specification for cloud applications. Uh, so you can describe an application from with it all the resource from infrastructure to uh, middleware and to applica application code scrap and logs. Uh, so the third, uh, application orchestration. Uh, we all know the Cloudify is uh, Mm, cloud orchestration framework, and we can model application and the service, and uh, manage application the entry life cycle. So we can pref uh, perform ongoing operations such as scaling, hailing, and maintenance. Uh, the first uh, plug ability, Cloudify provides reusable, reusable component abstraction for the system, and uh, we can model application. Um, uh, we can model application um, that you want it uh, with a uh, describing language. For example, OpenStack uh, 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 resource. And uh, Cloudify includes a number of the official uh, supported out of the books plugins. Uh, and we can also build our own if we need it. Uh, we can know the uh, Cloudify uh, includes three items, application topology and workflow and uh, policy. But, the, but uh, at the core of the Cloudify is Blueprint. Each Blueprint tells the Cloudify the details uh, how to run an application. For example, uh, what middleware service is needed to run and what the dependence are between the service and how to install the service, where to find the application and the service binaries, when to spend more instance or terminal exciting one, and even how to monitor each of the service. So the blueprint makes it super easy to, to get your application up and running on the OpenStack cloud. Uh, the, uh, the next is uh, it really take uh, six steps to run uh, to deploy and uh, manage application, uh, provision, install, config, and deploy, monitor, and scales. And uh, all, all those steps can be described in, in Blueprint. Uh, 
the next is what we have done uh, about the application orchestration in OpenStack. The first is how to install the Cloudify. Uh, we now support three ways to, to install the Cloudify. The first, uh, we have built, built the Cloudify as a container image, so we can, um, we can manage and schedule it in by Kubernetes. And uh, we, we, we also support the customer to create a Cloudify instance. And we also support, um, support the Cloudify as a service in OpenStack. So uh, the, the Cloudify can uh, ha have been ins installed, but uh, the OpenStack uh, provides the, pro provide the resource for the Cloudify. Uh, so um, the first one, the administrator of the OpenStack create all the results for the applications. Uh, and uh, we can add the results to the Cloudify uh, results pool. Uh, and the results of the pool can be, um, can be, can be used by, by our plugins. The plugin is not supported on the open source. On the open source. So uh, the, the, the customer just to care about the um, business application, don't care the OpenStack resource. OK, this is the uh, application uh, orchestration example in, in OpenStack with cloud. Uh, uh, From this chart, we can, we can know the the simple example, uh, the web server and the, the DB server. Uh, this is the node uh, for Cloudify. So we can have the five nodes, uh, web server and DB server, um, and the Node.js and MongoDB and uh, the business application node seller. Uh, but the other, but the, the other results are supported, are, are provided by open uh, by OpenStack. So uh, the uh, the uh, the application orchestration uh, include resource management and orchestration. Resor uh, the the resource the resource management are uh, are managed by by us, no, not not by um, by customers. Uh, customer just to um, orchestration the, their business application. For example, you install the DB, install web IP. All the uh, orchestration description are, are in the blueprint, uh, just, uh, just we said that. Uh, in, the, in the blueprint, uh, we just to tell the uh, install DB, install web app, and create DB on the about this based on DB and uh, uh, configura uh, configuration, uh, uh, the web application connect to DB and uh, uh, configuration the resource. The resource is from OpenStack. So, we, we, uh, so the Cloudify can, can start the component in the red orders. Okay. Uh, uh, we all know the, the application uses uh, uh, some, uh, the, uh, some resource. For example, uh, application network subnet uh, and uh, the secret group and, uh, and the floating IP, these are provided by the uh, OpenStack. Okay, that's all. Thank you. <laughs>